I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media, and today on the Crypto Coin Show, we have Adam Russell and Mo Kamarsi, co-founders of Reveal. Gentlemen, welcome to the show, and pleasure to see you again. Great to be here, Ashton. Great Thank to you. be here, Ashton. Thank you so much. Likewise, it's been a long time. I know we've been sort of back and forth in the crypto industry, and now you guys are working on Reveal. Uh, let's just get everyone up to date with, you know, before we dive into Reveal on a little bit of your history on how you guys have been working in the industry and sort of led up to starting Reveal. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I uh, wanted to just, uh, it's been a great honor and pleasure to work with people you like, trust, and respect. And Adam and I have known each other for six, about well, seven years now. We've been a uh, part of a lot of investment, a lot of different advising roles. We've been everywhere from advising over 30 companies and now starting to reveal ourselves. My little bit about my background, I've been in business most of my life. I've started many, many traditional businesses, got into cryptocurrency, and I love startups and helping people, mentoring people to startups. That's why I got a lot of advising roles. And uh, like yourself, Ash, and many of, uh, many of the companies we work together, we advise together as well. And, uh, and uh, so I fell in love with the industry and, and I've been able to immerse myself. And I saw through in that time, we lost more money <laughs> than people losing lifetimes in scams, rock pools, different NFTs. Oh my God, ICOs that were fake, sucked onto DMs. And we, uh, when Adam came with me and we had this uh, wonderful wonderful brand would reveal we we really are in the aspect of you know security is not sexy but it's much much needed in this space mm -hmm. so being here for about seven years i want to give it back give it just uh throw it to my uh co-founder and my partner adam I'll give you a little bit about his background absolutely yeah my background was actually in cyber security uh, back in the day i used to do a risk assessment and vulnerability assessment basically we would have our uh, hackers that we would hire to hack big corporations, find out that there's all kinds of problems with the company, and then we would provide software solutions and hardware solutions to protect them. Uh, about 2014, I got involved in the XR space, which is like virtual reality and augmented reality space. I got totally hooked, love the space. I've been really just dived into the early aspect of the metaverse and even NFTs back in the day. And about 2016, when I met Mo, we went into the blockchain space like with blinders on we were like this is amazing we love this space you remember the wild wild west of the icos the then the ideos and ieos and and the in the DAOs and the DeFi and the nfts and now the metaverse and uh, what mo said is it couldn't be more true it was so easy to get scammed mm -hmm. there was bad actors everywhere malicious people trying to get you and they would take advantage of your ignorance right you don't know what you don't know Nowadays, at least you can kind of go to somebody, but there's still, it's it's at a point where the only security that anybody really thinks about is McAfee and Norton. And, <laughs> yeah. and they, they're running in the background on your computer. They drive you crazy because you have to renew them. They came with the computers, most of them. And or you're wondering why your computer's running so slow. It's because the damn thing's scanning in the background. So you have a, your perception of security and running, at least for protection wise, mm -hmm. it's kind of annoying, right? So... About a year and a half ago, we came up with the idea that somebody, if we as DGENs, even as recent as the last six months or a year, can get scammed on NFTs, mm -hmm. you know, and when the metaverse comes, forget about it, right? It's going to be even way easier to scam people. If we as DGENs, me and Mo, you know, my, my brother from another mother, you know, we understand this space and we are in a position where we want to provide peace of mind and a brand that people can trust. But as a DGEN, if we're getting scammed, the masses don't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, you're right. And I feel like we've come a long way uh, from where it has been in, in the Wild West. And, you know, you don't hear that term as often anymore. But still, uh, there's, there's a lot of holes in, in, in different places. And with a lot of people starting to get involved in the next waves of adoption of cryptocurrency, a lot of these people aren't tech savvy at all, you know, trying to figure out how to run a wallet and they ask for help from the wrong person and all of a sudden it's a phishing scam or they're getting uh, taken advantage of it in, in some way. So there's definitely the need for more cybersecurity protection mechanisms. And, and you're right, I feel like we need to flip the switch on uh, security software and, and architecture and to not have that annoying thing that's scanning in the background to be something that's actually helping you and aiding you. Um, so 
I would love to dive in more on exactly you know, the kind of technologies that you think are the highest priority that your team is working on uh, that need to be put into the blockchain space right now. Yeah, absolutely. So when you look at the McAfee's and the Norton back in the day, you wouldn't even know the name if it didn't have the word antivirus after it, mm -hmm. right? That's how it started. And we wanted to create it from the ground up and architect a brand that people can feel synonymous with protection, right? Mm -hmm. And so reveal, our tagline is, all will be revealed. So we'll reveal you if you're a fraud or a scam and we'll reveal you if you're real. Mm -hmm. And with the three in reveal, it stands for create, verify, and reveal. Mm -hmm. And we are able to, at the digital media, as, as the space is starting to evolve with NFTs, and then it'll go into the metaverse, knowing that minting something is only showing provenance of ownership. It doesn't validate creation, doesn't validate copyright. As you can see, there's scams every single day you're hearing about it, right? Mm -hmm. Copyright scams, people getting, you know, a lot of social media phishing attempts, like you mentioned. And so our technology creates, we'll call it a follow me marker that goes in at the creation level of a digital media. So it could be digital land, it could be avatar, it could be a PFP, a uh, picture, or video, it doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And we're able to integrate prior to the minting process, which makes us blockchain agnostic. Mm -hmm. And then from that, we're able to build a really portable API or application platform interface that will go into a NFT marketplace, a gaming platform, and into the metaverse to allow you to be able to authenticate later. So that's mm -hmm. phase one of what we're doing. And we're trying to solve that problem, which is really authentication at this point. Think of us, the easiest, simplest way to understand what reveal is, if you've ever bought a diamond mm -hmm. and you had to do a validation, it's validated by what they call a GIA, GIA certified diamond. Yep. And when you buy the diamond, it has a laser etching on the side of it. And that laser etching has an ID number that matches a certificate that matches a registry. Mm -hmm. And if all of that matches, you have cut clarity and color. And then you know you have a VS1 or S1 quality yep. diamond. We're the digital equivalent of a GIA certificate for a diamond. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Ex ex no, it's at the beginning. We have phase two, which we'll get into a little bit. Okay, sounds great. And, you know, right now, I feel like there's a lot of sort of security measures that are sort of being put in place. They're not perfect either, but, um, you know, there's there's audits on, on smart contracts. There's starting to be more insurance protocols coming out. Um, but they're more working with the companies uh, to protect, you know, end users um, and, and not have the end users have to install some software. Uh, where do you guys lie on that spectrum on working with the end users versus working with at the source and with the companies or with exchanges? That's a great question. So since we go in prior to the smart contract, we go in actually at the creation level for authentication tech. Mm -hmm. We see there's other solutions that are trying to solve it at the smart contract level, right? Mm -hmm. And what we've noticed is this, is that you've got to catch it at the core and you'll be able to follow it on any blockchain anywhere. The other companies that are out there and they're trying to either do a closed ecosystem where they're controlling it themselves, right? Maybe a project like Numbers as an example, or um, somebody, even Disney's going to build out their own metaverse and their own protection, and they'll keep it inside of their ecosystem. But for the future, interoperability is going to be important to go across multiple different, not only chains, but worlds, right? We're going to go into the future of the world, metaverse, which is... You know, I mean, it's going to be a multi-trillion dollar industry and, and we want to be in front of that, mm -hmm. right? And, and we believe that that's the next major thing. And we want to position ourselves to be a brand that people can really feel and trust that somebody's going to put their stamp on it. So mm -hmm. as an example, OpenSea is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. You know, I give them a lot of credit for going out there and building an amazing marketplace, but it got so big so quick. Very, very little security protocols were put in place. And even at the beginning, they put like a blue check mark if you move like 100 ETH. The problem was is that they put the blue check mark right next to your profile pic, and then the you know the scammers they would just make a, a bigger circle and just fake the blue check mark. Mm, <laughs> so yeah. people didn't realize it. You know, it was so easy. Decentraland is a good example. You go to Decentraland if you write in the word Decentral Land, T R A L Land, but if you write in the word Central Land, you go to a, a fake phishing site mm. that will steal your wallet, connect to it, lose all your money, mm -hmm. and 
you know, the, the more that we realize that we have to appeal to the masses, we have to be able to let them know that, okay, I feel safe. So we're going to start off with this security centric marketplace that we built our own. So you could mm -hmm. test it out with, mm -hmm. with um, actual NFT drops and then building that into a virtual marketplace. And then we partnered with four of the biggest metaverses that are uh, coming out photorealistic metaverses. And um, we're super excited. We're going to be building a virtual headquarters with a sandbox that allow us to do cross world protection and inter interoperable protection across the world, as well as provide an invisible shield of protection around your avatar as it navigates through these new worlds, mm -hmm. right? So it'll protect against malicious content, authenticate, let's say you're wearing a, you're an avatar, you're wearing a board Ape Yacht Club jacket and Louis Vuitton shoes and some kind of, you know, wings on you. And we want to know if it's all fake or not, if it's real. So we mm -hmm. could literally scan you. Imagine a drone in your pocket to throw up in the air and I could literally scan you and say, this is a fraud, right? I can literally check it. Or we're going to work with partners that do proof of existence. So we're going to check to see, hey, they can do an AI and they can check your social footprint for the last entire time you've been online. And then they can look at the inflections, don uh, intonation, dynamics of your voice. They do a voice finger footprint. Mm. And now they can pretend they're you on an avatar mm. and you're running around and it's not you. So somebody has to be able to say, scan that and say, oh, this person's a, an AI you're talking to. Mm -hmm. It's not a real person. Or it's a 13 year old girl avatar that's a 55 year old man behind it. It's kind of crazy. Like, I believe whatever happens in real life is going to happen in the metaverse 10x. Mm -hmm. Which is scary, but I will say that there's people that are trying to solve the problem and it's become a huge problem. The future where the metaverse is going to be a McKenzie, Goldman Sachs, all the big boys are saying it's going to be a multi-trillion dollar industry. And, you know, and they say in the, in the gold rush, you don't get rich uh, going to get the gold. It's the people who sell the picks and shovels and, and the infrastructure. And so we're, we're an infrastructure play to try to make um, security sexy again uh, and a brand that people can, can trust. Definitely. And I love that last point there, Adam. And I think you're right about, you know, the metaverse sort of being 10x, uh, being able to sort of hide yourself. It'll be interesting to see how the authentication of identities, you know, will play a role in like being able to log on with your own identity or anonymously to, to different metaverses. Um, and there's been a lot of discussion on, you know, metaverse growth. And I've seen in the news recently, Saudi Arabia investing you know, millions and millions and expecting a, a large part of their workforce to be working in the metaverse. How quickly do you think uh, this is going to accelerate and we'll need to have technologies like Reveal working in the metaverse? You know, is this by next year or in the next few years? You know, it's, just yesterday, we got off the phone with one of our new partners, uh, Curzio Research. And Frank Curzio has had 15 years with Wall Street, working with the biggest of the big and you guys might not know this, but over a hundred billion dollars in in the last six months has in this in, in this time frame has poured into has poured into the the market for investment in the infrastructure of the metaverse. Mm -hmm. There's hundreds of billions of dollars sitting on the sidelines right now, and one of the biggest concerns they have is security. Mm -hmm. Right, it's one of the on the forefront of their concerns because they see it everywhere you go. You're hearing about the theft, and even like uh, Seth Green. He had his. Mm -hmm. He wanted to do this show with his eight, with his IP, and it gets stolen. And he still needs the IP, so he goes and buys it back. So he bought it twice. Yeah. And then the guy, the guy who stole it, never got caught. Maybe he will down the road. But point is, is that a lot of smart money, a lot of big institutional money, a lot of Wall Street money, is coming in the space. Mm -hmm. They're not one hundred percent certain how, but what he said was, is that. They need somebody, one, that's going to have a security, number two, that somebody understands. And you mentioned smart contract audit. Mm -hmm. That's that's super important regardless of where whatever you're doing, right? It's important mm -hmm. to audit. We also have um, a huge ecosystem. We're up to, our, I think, our 60th partner, right? So we have wow. four major metaverse partners, and then we have gaming platform partners. We have NFT partners, um, eco ecosystem in the carbon credit side of things, social impact partners, data oracle partners. I mean, we're building as big an infrastructure as we can as an ecosystem to support it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's exciting to have really great partners like Hedera, HBAR Foundation. They, we did a grant with them. We did a grant with Near Protocol. Mm -hmm. um, we just, you know, obviously as a, as a project, we went on KuCoin and, um, you know, we realized that we wanted to build a 
project that people will know that we're here for the long haul. And and by the way, we we launched our whole project in a bear market, mm-hmm. which you got to have some serious intestinal fortitude <laughs> to be able to launch in a bear market. And uh, that gives, uh, you know, it puts us in a position where we know that we are putting our head down, developing out the tech. And, you know, we brought in an incredible team with amazing backgrounds, whether it be gaming and, and cybersecurity and understanding cryptocurrency, blockchain, product development. I mean, just incredible people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and our advisory board is, is bar none. Like, I encourage you to take a look at our advisory board, kind of people that we've, you know, the godfather of the metaverse, uh, Alan Smithson. And we brought in mm-hmm. Mario Nofal from NFT Technologies and, you know, Key from Forward Protocol. And, and we just have um, Liam Robertson from Alphabet Fund. And, 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 it, and it goes on and on. And Brian, Brian um, Schuster from Otherverse. You know, and we have four major major metaverse partners we're working with too. We work with uh, TCG World. They literally, they just created a 800 kilometer fully dirt digital metaverse, all NFTs, all blockchain that has, you know, you can fly a dragon, drive around a car, big brands are in there. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, other verses, is, is, and they're built on Unity. Other verses also built on, on, on Unity as well. And mm-hmm. they'll be rolling out. And all of these are rolling out in the next three, four months. We've done a lot of due diligence to look at all of the big metaverses that are coming out. Uh, Blockchain Valley Virtual, doing a big smart city. It's all built on Unreal Engine 5. Incredible. And then Metaverse, Mm M-E-T-A-V-R-S-E. They actually are building a 100-story mall with literally a million square feet per floor. We bought space, 1 million square feet, floor 88 on that mall. And we're partners with all of these metaverses already. And so we're providing protection, a peace of mind, and also that interoperable security between them and a VIP uh, access pass to go across. We're building out VIP areas as well as, you know, the, the protection into our secure, we'll call it a portal mm-hmm. that you'll be able to. And there's a possibility that down the road, you'll be able to jump from a AAA game when one of our partners with the value you have in unused credits into right into a metaverse and take your avatar with you with all your credits. Kind of like ready. Cool. So we got some cool stuff we're working on. Very, very exciting stuff. Definitely. Yeah, it sounds like a huge amount of partnerships. Um, and, and I'm really excited to see these metaverses connect together. It's also great to hear about the, the Near and Hedera. You know, I've spoken to projects in, in both ecosystems recently, and I think they're, they're great up and coming ecosystems. And about KuCoin as well, I feel like they're huge up and coming to be, you know, in the, one of the top slots of, of exchanges. So great to hear about that, Adam. And there, there's just so many different uh, aspects to this that your team is working on. What is the best way for people to to learn more about Reveal and, and to get involved in it? Yeah, absolutely. They can go to re- Reveal.io, right? Uh, R-E-V-3-A-L. Mm-hmm. It's not Rev3-All, it's Reveal. Mm-hmm. And um, and they're able to uh, go to our, our link tree. Uh, has everything in it. And we'll put that on the video so they can click on that. But Reveal at the bottom of it and at the top, you definitely join our Telegram and you want to join our Twitter, make sure you only follow our official Telegram, our t- official Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it's a high level project. You know, people create fake ones, right? So the best thing to do is go right to the source. And um, and then if you really want to make sure you're on the right website and the right Telegram, mm-hmm. go to QCoin. It's REV3L is the, <clears throat> the ticker and, and look up Reveal. And then you can go to our approved socials there as well. Sounds great, Adam. And I will make sure that I get the links from you. We'll leave it in the description box below to uh, make sure that those links are correct there. And we'll leave the link to the KuCoin as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show. Gentlemen, I appreciate it. All the best with everything moving forward in Reveal. And let's follow up in the near future. Thank you so much, Ash. It's been our pleasure. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friend. Take care.